क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज अ पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम इज मूविंग इन दाइजेड प्लेन विद अलॉसिटी वी नॉट अलॉन्ग द स्ट्रेट लाइन ए बी द एंगुलर मोमेंटम ऑफ द पार्टिकल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ओरिजिन ओ ऑप्शन आर विल इंक्रीज विल डिक्रीज रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट और विल बी जीरो डे स्टूडेंट्स इट इज अ थियोरेटिकल क्वेश्चन ऑन द एंगुलर मोमेंटम एंगुलर मोमेंटम ऑफ पार्टिकल कैन बी रिटर्न एज आर क्रॉस पी वेर पी इज द लीनियर मोमेंटम एंगुलर मोमेंटम कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न टू बी इक्वल टू एम वी दैट इज द लीनियर मोमेंटम मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द पोपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस ऑफ द पॉइंट टू द पार्टिकल्स लाइन ऑफ मोशन द पॉइंट हेयर इज द पॉइंट अबाउट विच द एंगुलर मोमेंटम इज टू बी कैलकुलेटेड डे स्टूडेंट्स एज यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एंगुलर मोमेंटम ऑफ द पार्टिकल अबाउट ओरिजन ओ वी कैन इजिली सी दैट द पोपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस ऑफ ओ दैट इज दिस डिस्टेंस would remain constant that if the particle moves in a rectilinear motion and hence in these cases the angular momentum of the particle remains constant about the point and hence the correct answer for this question is option number 3 now let us proceed to the question number 7 question number 7 says four particles each of mass m are situated at the vertices of a square abcd of side a as shown in the figure the moment of inertia of the system about line bd will be dear students we have to find out the moment of inertia of the square about this line the moment of inertia of a single particle can be written to be equal to mr square where r is the perpendicular distance of the particle from the axis now dear students the perpendicular distance for d is equal to perpendicular distance of b and it will be equal to 0 and hence the moment of inertia of the particle at b would individually be 0 and therefore they would add up to be zero as well so hence the final answer would have only the moment of inertia of particle at a and c dear students let us try to find out this particular distance of particle c from this axis since this is half of the diagonal the value of this particular distance if it is d then d is equal to a by root 2 dear students the moment of inertia of particle c can be written to be equal to m into d square which will be equal to m a square by 2 this will be the moment of inertia of particle at a as well the total moment of inertia or the net moment of inertia can be written to be equal to the summation of moment of inertia of particles at each corner so this will be equal to m a square by 2 plus m a square by 2 Plus zero, plus zero, which will be equal to m a square, and hence the correct answer for this question is option number one. Now let us proceed to the question number eight. Question number eight says if magnitude of a cross b is equal to one by root three a dot b, then the value of magnitude of a vector minus b vector is. Dear students, if the angle between a and b is theta, then the magnitude of a cross b would be equal to ab sin theta and the magnitude of a dot b would be equal to ab cos theta as per the question it is given that ab sin theta is equal to 1 by root 3 ab cos theta which means that tan theta would be equal to 1 by root 3 and as theta would be equal to 30 degrees and as the angle between the vectors is 30 degrees we have to find out the magnitude of the subtraction of these vectors so the magnitude of the subtraction would be equal to under root of a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta that is a square plus b square Minus 2ab cos 30. Dear students, cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2. And if we substitute the value, we get a value a square plus b square minus root 3 ab whole to the power 1 by 2. On comparing the options, we can easily see the correct answer for this particular question is option number 3. Now let us proceed further to the next question of the test. Question number nine says, in case of pure rolling, the velocity of particle a of the disc of radius r, as shown in the figure, is. Dear students, the velocity of any particle 
and for that matter specifically of particle A can be written to be equal to the velocity of A with respect to the center of mass plus velocity of center of mass. The velocity of particle A about center of mass would be equal to omega into r by 2 where omega is the angular velocity of rolling that is the angular velocity of the body about the center of mass. The velocity of center of mass has been given to us to be equal to Vcm. Now dear students, it is given to us that the case is of pure rolling which means that Vcm would be equal to omega r. On substituting the value of omega r in this expression, we can write that the velocity of A would be equal to Vcm by 2 plus Vcm which will be equal to 3 by 2 Vcm. And hence option number 4 is the correct answer for this question. Let us proceed to the question number 10. Question number 10 is a theoretical question. It says if net torque acting on a system is 0, then linear momentum of system will be conserved, angular momentum of system will remain constant, angular velocity will remain constant or option number 4 which says force acting on the system must be 0. These students, torque on a body or a particle can be written to be equal to the rate of change of angular momentum. So if the torque is 0, then the rate of change of the angular momentum would be 0 as well. Which means that the angular momentum for that system would remain constant. And hence, option number 2 of this particular question is the correct statement. And hence, it is the answer. Now dear students, let us discuss the question number 11. 